I want to reflect on some points that I've been thinking about. I've, I've been having some sessions with people regarding just showing them how things have changed. And I think it's important for us to understand that the actual way we design content is changing. It's changing drastically. And uh, I realize that the more I review certain things, is the more I'm getting into how the content will change over a period of time. So I think it's important for me to share some ideas as I go through. You know, sometimes I really like walking at lunchtime. It gives me a time to clear my head. But I'm going to say that content is going to change over time. Yes, as we go and we look how content is being delivered, it's going to be delivered in an automatic and routine way. Yes, and as I go back down this end, I want to say that content is also going to be personalized. There's going to be enhanced personalization of content. So some individuals might be reading and it's possible as you're engaging that content and you're interacting with that content, you might have a different outcome. So there's going to be enhanced personalization of content to ensure that there's effective teaching and learning. You know, so I think it's important. Let me look, stop. I'm not doing any activity now and go back this end. I love just walking at, in this time. And if we look at improve efficiency in content development. Now for me, the development of content takes a lot of time. The content of the future will be dynamic. It will be dynamic in the sense that it will be able to have chatbots, personalized videos and so forth. But I want to say that what we're looking at is the future. And in looking at the future, I want to show you Tome. And this is able to generate a PowerPoint in less than five minutes. Look, right here we have the icon Tome. And I want to say the first thing is you think about a prompt. Think about what you want to develop. And as you're thinking about that prompt, I want you to think about what else do you want to add to that prompt. So you're putting in your information. And once you put your information in, you say generate. And let me pause and I'll show you right now how this is done. Here we are, we're into an AI application that will allow you to create your own PowerPoint in just seconds. Now, let me say that I've logged in, I've had an account with them, and of course, I'm not with the payment plan, not yet, but I've tried it several times. And I want to demonstrate how you can use this tool to really advance your planning as it relates to teaching and learning. I could have had a new one, but I want to generate with AI. I like to talk about social work because I've done some social work in my time. So let's start by developing a prompt that we could use to create our PowerPoint. All right, let's start now. So I want to say create a presentation that gives the key principles of social work. Okay, fundamental principles, because that's Grammarly. So I'm giving another prompt, because I've been a social worker before and I understand the field. So I'm saying, outline these principles in the context of child protection. Okay, give me a correction there and create giving me some ideas. So I'm just going to say, all right, cool. What I'll do now is add a context. Connect to England. I worked in England, so I just want to make sure it has some connections there for the example given. All right, and what I'm going to do now is just create, generate. All right, let's see where it takes us. I don't want to upgrade, so I'm going to just
and it gives me okay it's doing some slides here and of course it has populated the slides all right so there we have there we have it a full presentation created the purpose of social work in child protection importance of social work in child protection the context in england and i could go through and then verify here it is the role of the social worker in child protection as it relates to responsibilities duties and of course we have it all planned there prepared it's lined out for us and we can see the full presentation is there no my responsibility would be to check the information to ensure that I have my references connected because I'm maybe using a key text and to fill any missing gaps that are in that present. I want to show you another one I created. I have worked in child development before where I taught child development courses and I wanted to share some PowerPoints. I just wanted to go back in time to really use some of the content because since I've been in the United States, I've had limited use of this content that I've generated a long time ago teaching the subject based on opportunities that are here. So um, I wanted to outline this again. So I went back in my teaching days back in UK. And of course, I've continued to make connections with these teaching days in UK. And sometimes my work really articulates that. So here it is. We're talking about introduction to the attachment theory. And I had a look over it. It was very relevant. And this was created in roughly three minutes using a critical prompt, citing studies and so forth. So what I'm saying, Tome is a powerful tool. It is free as it relates to what I'm showing you here. You can then, if you wanted to share, download, export as a PDF. You could add a logo. And of course, I can't export as a PDF because I'm not using the paid account. So as we go back out of this setting, I want you to remember that content is changing and we have to be ready. This is just another example. You can sign up. I'm going to put the link down there that you can sign up to use Storm app. Good. Thanks. And let's go back to do a little more talking before I say goodbye. You see, there are so many possibilities when you're thinking about artificial intelligence. Yes, I was able to create this item without actually to write a PowerPoint or to develop a PowerPoint. Now, having done this, this is a powerful tool. Now, I'm able to incorporate that tool in an activity. Notwithstanding, I still need to do my due diligence and, of course, engage in the planning. Now, I want to say that there are many tools out there. And when I showed individuals this tool, they were very satisfied that it would help them at this point. As I started saying earlier, the development of content is going to be dynamic. It's going to change the landscape of how we learn and how, of course, we engage with digital media. And as we go forward, we also have to think about the ethical considerations because actually, we're at a crossroads. And let me say, the sky's the limit. So let's embrace the technology as we go forward. That's all for now.